It is Wednesday, June 12th, and the Dong Report is back in your life. I'm Matt Modai, and I have three home run predictions for you guys to lock in for today's MLB betting slate. Yesterday was another day that was not one of our days 0-3 oh, on the Dong Report yesterday. It was kind of brutal. I had the three-hitter and the five-hitter for the Guardians to hit a home run in Jose Ramirez and David Fry. They did not hit a home run, but the four-hitter did, just the one sandwiched in between the two of them. And Jose Ramirez did come close with the foul ball that he just crushed. It was just a little bit foul. But 0-3 is 0-3, down one and a half units. Now brings our total losses on the year to down about 19 units, which is obviously a horrible number. We're about breaking even if you just look at the last about seven weeks. Basically, if you look at uh, the third week of April till now. So it's like April 21st until now. We're about breaking even, which obviously breaking even is nothing to write home about. But it does look a lot better than down 19 units. But the dead baseball this year, home runs are down like 20%. Unfortunately, it's just the nature of the business, and I haven't really been able to find the plays to break out of that. Hopefully, we are able to do so. Hopefully, it starts with the three that we have today. So if you're new to my channel, would appreciate it if you could click that subscribe button. And then remember to like and comment this one. If we can get right into it, play number one, Guardians versus Reds game. I'm going right back to Jose Ramirez to hit a home run, plus 430 odds at Bet Rivers. So Ramirez has been a pretty popular pick for the Dong Report this year. We have a pretty good record with him. Like we cashed him on Saturday. We got two to cash on Saturday. He was one of the two. So hopefully we can kind of continue our luck with him specifically. Granted, he didn't come through for us yesterday, but it's another day playing at Reds Stadium, which brings another opportunity for Ramirez to hit a home run. He's going up against Nick Lodolo of the Reds. And Lodolo is admittedly a pretty good pitcher, but Lodolo isn't nearly as good against right-handed batters as he is against lefties. And one thing that I love against Jose Ramirez is that he is a switch hitter. So, you know, depending on the handedness of the pitcher will, will depend on what he ends up batting. But looking at Nick Lodolo, he's given up five home runs on the year. Legitimately, all five have come to right-handed batters. His home run per nine against righties is 1.04, which I will admit that is a, a, pr a pretty good number, the 1.04 home run per nine. But if he's ever going to give a home give up a home run, it would be to someone batting right-handed. His fly ball rate allowed against right-handed hitters is up to 42%. That would be the 20th highest fly ball rate allowed in the MLB. His allowed pull rate is 41.6%, which would just be right outside the top 30, but still generally a higher than average number. And then his hard hit rate allowed is 10 percentage points higher against right-handed hitters at 30.1% which is about average. It's not horrible. It's not great. It's about average hard hit rate. So again, if he's ever going to give up a home run, it would be against a right-handed batter. And what I really like about Jose Ramirez is not only the, did I mention that he is a switch hitter, but he's got pretty equal power regardless of what handedness he is batting at, right? He's legitimately good against both righties and lefties. His ISO rate against left-handed pitching is 26.6%. ISO rate stands for isolated power measures how much power that a batter has. Anything 25% and above is considered excellent according to fan graphs. So his ISO rate at 26.6% against lefties, that's excellent. Against right-handed pitching, his ISO rate is 27.8%. So slightly, slightly better against right-handed pitching, but still they're close. And if you look at every other metric, average, slugging, OPS, WOBA, WRC+, all of them are better against left-handed pitching for uh, Jose Ramirez. So the guess here is that the power is going to start to come against lefties as well. And his power has been great this entire season. ISO rate of 27.5%. That's the sixth highest in the MLB. 50% uh, fly ball rate would be the seventh highest in the MLB. So a lot of the same reasons to back him today that we did yesterday. He just didn't come through for us. But again, that foul ball did come pretty close. So let's hope that Ramirez is able to dong one today. Next up, Rockies versus Twins game. I'm taking Royce Lewis to hit a home run. A plus 475 odds at bet MGM. So Royce Lewis, he's only played eight games this year. He had, he was awesome to start the year. He hit a home run on opening day. Then he got hurt, missed like a month and a half or so. Um, but he's been legitimately good since he came back from, from the injury, right? He hit a home run in his first two games back from the injury. Then he didn't hit one for three games. Then he hit one on Monday and he missed yesterday. So he's been really, really good. And if you just look at the eight games he's played this year, he's hit four home runs. Now, I'm not necessarily sure that he's going to keep up the 81 home run pace that he is on for the season. That's probably a little bit of an outlier. But he is someone that I do want to back 
while he's in the middle of a heater. Looking at Royce Lewis, he's always been an excellent prospect. The issue is that he just really hasn't been able to stay healthy. So hopefully he has a sustained success of health. And hopefully that also includes a sustained success with power as well. Now, looking at the matchup, he's going up against a lefty in Austin Gomber. Uh, admittedly, he only has seven plate appearances against left-handed pitchers this season, but he did hit a home run in one of those seven plate appearances. He's got six at-bats because he got walked one time. He's got a hit in three of those six at-bats, and he has a very casual ISO rate of 66.7%. Now, obviously, that number is going to come down. Hopefully, it starts coming down tomorrow, not today. And if you look at his career, he generally does have better power numbers against right-handed pitching than left-handed pitching. But I do think that the pitching matchup against Austin Gomber is definitely one that favors Royce Lewis. This is a uh, extreme advantage in favor of the batter, according to Ballpark Pal. Not quite a plus 10, but still advantage batter. And looking at Austin Gomber, he's a pitcher that can give up a lot of power. He's got the, uh, he allows a barrel rate of 9.7%. That would be the 11th highest barrel rate allowed in the MLB. His hard hit rate allowed on batted balls is 32 and a half percent. That would be the 19th worst in the MLB as well. And before you say, well, he's a Rockies pitcher, of course, he's going to have bad home run numbers. Keep in mind that he's actually given up more home runs away from Coors Field than at home. And his stats away are generally worse across the board as well. So it's not just like he's a pitcher that is ha having bad luck because he has to pitch at Coors. He's been worse as a road pitcher. So Royce Lewis, let's stay hot. And then lastly, Cubs versus Rays game, final pick of the evening, Michael Bush to hit a home run plus 675 odds at Caesars. So here is really where I'm taking a deviation from my normal strategy. And I will admit, this one is absolutely going to require a leap of faith, 100%. Generally, and this is what worked really well for me last year, is when I look at batters, I try to look at a two-week sample size. How hot is this batter? Last week, last year, it worked 61 units of profit last year. This year, we're down almost 20 units. You got to switch things up a little bit. And that's what we're doing here with Michael Bush. He is absolutely not a batter that is going to impress you with his stats over the last 14 days. Now, I will admit that part of the reason why I like this play is looking at Ballpark Pal, they list Michael Bush as the most likely player to hit a home run today. Literally, they have him as the most likely player, despite the fact that the books are pricing this at 675 odds, despite the fact that Aaron Judge plays baseball today, Shohei Otani plays baseball today. They list Michael Bush Again, the most likely player to hit a home run, which is pretty crazy. And that's looking at the, the stadium. It's looking at the, the pitching mix of the pitcher, what type of pitches the batter hits well. Looking at all that stuff, they have him as most likely. So giving them some benefit of the doubt with this one. Now, if you remember Michael Bush uh, in April, he had a, a stretch where he hit a home run in five straight games. That was crazy. He caught a ridiculous heater. Since then, he has only hit two home runs. His last home run came on May 28th. So yeah, like I said, we're not backing a hot hitter here at all. But I can see the argument for Bush. It's not like I'm just grasping at straws with this one. Bush is a left-handed hitter who is better against right-handed pitching. He's going up against Aaron Savale, who is a right-handed pitcher who is worse against left-handed hitting. On the year, Michael Bush, his ISO rate against lefties, or excuse me, his ISO rate against righties. He's a lefty. ISO rate against righties is 20.6%. That just fits within the great category as defined by Fangraphs. Anything between 20 and 25% is considered great. His fly ball rate against, excuse me, against righties is 45%, which is solid. Hard hit rate is 36.5% as well, which is solid. Again, none of those numbers would put him with like Aaron Judge, of course. But that fly ball rate and that hard hit rate against righties, that would put him like top 30 in the MLB of all qualified batters. So still pretty decent numbers. And then looking at Aaron Savale, he is in general a pitcher that gives up a lot of home runs. Like he's given up 13 on the year, which is a lot. He's got a high home run per nine. But despite the fact that he's seen fewer bat, uh, fewer at-bats, fewer plate appearances against left-handed hitters, six of those 13 home runs have come against lefties. His home run per nine, specifically against lefties, is 1.95, which is horrible. And then from there, you look at his like batted ball numbers, fly ball rate, pull rate, hard hit rate. All of them are higher against left-handed hitters. And especially his hard hit rate is 39% allowed to left-handed hitters. That would literally be the highest hard hit rate allowed in the entire MLB. So if there's ever a day for both Michael Bush and for me to break out of our dong slumps, it would be tonight. Let's hope that comes through for us. Would be great to get a plus 675 odds cash. Would be great 
to get one of these players to hit a home run would be amazing to get all three of them to hit a home run. So let's hope for that. I appreciate everybody for watching. Again, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and have a good one.